Latest on Cyclone Joe Nina, which is strengthening and is now a Category 1 on the Saffir Simpson scale with winds of 75 miles an hour and a pressure around 977 millibars. This is as of 6am Mauritius time on March 24th. On the CDPS scale, it is packing quite a bit of risk, certainly with the wind speed and the rainfall potential in particular. Stage 7, with 300mm of rainfall possible for the island of Rodrigues, and very strong hurricane force winds if the storm makes a direct landfall or close to it, which is still on the cards. Here it is right now, as you can see the southern side is a much wider wind field than on the northern quadrants there, 17.1 south, 61.6 degrees east, 138 miles from St Brandon, 209 from Rodrigues and 1724 from Isle Amsterdam way down towards the south, of course it will be post-tropical by the time it gets there. Class 2 warning is now in effect for the island of Rodrigues as the storm draws closer. Those warnings could be upgraded further as it gets nearer towards Class 3 perhaps by tomorrow. Well let's take a look at the chrono chronology of this with the GFS model. You can see the storm first moving a little bit towards the southwest and then uh, assuredly towards the southeast there. Monday into Tuesday the storm begins to affect Rodrigues, the storm proper. Tuesday night into Wednesday will be the closest pass, uh, pass to Rodrigues and then it will continue off towards the southeast accelerating as it moves out towards the subtropics and will eventually turn post-tropical. Probably not straight away actually, uh, but by the end of the week over the weekend to come it will probably turn post-tropical. So you saw those rainfall amounts there. The sea surface temperatures will help those rainfall amounts rise. 28 degrees Celsius, which is certainly a lot of fuel for this storm to feed off for the next two or three days before its closest pass. The green areas here are tropical storm force winds, the yellow areas hurricane force winds, and this is the storm's expected track over the next few days. Hurricane force winds very close to the coastline there. Uh, of the small island of Rodrigues. Hurricane conditions cannot be ruled out. This storm could peak as a category two or three. In fact, it's probably going to be towards the higher end of that, maybe category three in the next few days as it moves towards the southeast in what has been quite a crazy season with all of those category three and four storms that we've seen already. Chances of tropical storm force winds have changed very little since our last update. 45% at St. Brandon, and 97% on Rodrigues. It's almost assured that we're going to see tropical storm conditions and hopefully everyone has made the necessary precautionary measures needed for at least tropical storm conditions if not hurricane conditions. This is what the models are saying. The HWRF they're calling for a category 4. GFS and the JTWC going with category 3. Wind shear is going to remain low for about two or three days here before beginning to rise slowly. And you can see the track forecast there, pretty tight-knit agreement there, apart from the CTCX, a bit of an outlier towards the south. Pretty much means the same thing, no matter which model you choose. Uh, this is how the storm's been looking in the last few hours. Uh, the reason we've gone with the lower end of Category 1 uh, is because the storm's appearance doesn't look very good, the eye isn't really there at this point, and the convection has waned a little bit in those latest frames. We do expect the storm to come back stronger pretty soon, probably in the next few hours during the daylight hours today, local time. And by tomorrow, Monday, we could see the storm peaking or reaching Category 3 status as it approaches Rodrigues at a worst case scenario. Stay tuned for more. Next update, 8pm Mauritius. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo a Cyclo Maurice on Facebook. <laughs>